show you guys how to make something that I've done in the past before when I've been prepping, and even when I'm not prepping, but I kind of just forgot about it until like recently because I saw it on Instagram. I'm going to be making cinnamon raisin, cinnamon raisin French toast. All you need is egg beaters. So I pour like a cup or half a cup of egg beaters into this bowl, and then you get ground cinnamon, sprinkle some of that in there, and then you simply get your bread out, take the bread, cinnamon raisin, one of these is, one slice is literally 80 calories. Drop it in there, let it soak in. So I usually let like that side soak in for like 30 seconds. And then you grab a fork or whatever, and you flip it over. So that's a lot of cinnamon, so I usually just like let it soak in even deeper and just let it sit there while your pan heats up. I turn the pan on while that's doing that, so when I put it on here, it, it cooks really fast. And this is a solid recipe. So for all my clients that are watching this right now, this is a solid recipe for prep. It tastes amazing. Um, it comes out to about 60 carbs total for the whole thing. And uh, it depends on what you're eating it with, 60 carbs total. And then if you, do the, if you add in the protein, the cup of protein, it's like 20 grams of protein. So very low fat, high carb, medium protein meal. It's pretty good. Very well balanced meal. Boom, so we have the first meal of the day. We have five slices of pepper ridge, cinnamon raisin, French toast, smothered in the one and only Walden Farb zero calorie pancake syrup. We have a cup of egg whites, two slices of turkey bacon, and for my drink of choice today, we have the Minute Maid 15 calorie uh, light lemonade. So uh, yeah, this is how you eat smart, eat good, and save calories. Like look at how good this is like. You can't tell me you don't want this. Like, you can't tell me if, the, if this pulled up to your front door and someone was like, please eat these, these are for you. You wouldn't want these. So lately I've been jamming a lot of DF, DVSN. I don't know if I'm saying it right, please don't kill me. But his shit is really good. If you're looking for some good slow jams, baby making music. Really gonna be Wrapped up a very solid pull workout with Christian and Tyler, just like old times. Did 350 calories, well I was supposed to do 350 calories post workout, but I ended up doing 400 because the grind doesn't sleep. No days off, dedication, hard work, I'm just kidding. But push, push for 400 calories, feel absolutely amazing. This weekend, I kinda veered off from my diet. It happens, it happens to everyone. Instead of having one untracked meal this, this weekend, I kinda had two untracked days. So I'm definitely gonna make up for it this week. Uh, starting my week off with this pool workout that I just did, 400 calories of cardio for cardio, and then I'm probably gonna do at least four sessions of cardio, four more sessions of cardio this week. This is how I want to look at the end of every single workout this week. My shirt should be able to be wrung, wrung out. Wrung out, is that how you say it? Wrung out. <laughs> wrung out? Yeah. <laughs> my shirt should be able to be yeah. wrung out at the end of every workout to where like I'm just dripping sweat so this is a sign of a good ass workout about to head to the grocery store and show y'all what I get
So I finally got the projector set up and I got my Xbox set up. So uh, about to hop on this 2K, bypassing time. And uh, I might even challenge Russell. <clears throat> Update, still sitting here in my little, I guess I can say this is a man cave now. Watching the Philadelphia and Boston Celtics series. At first, I thought this series was going to be an easy sweep for Philadelphia because of Ben Simmons, Marcus Fultz, <clears throat> and uh, Joel Embiid, but Terry Rozier. Rozier, I don't know how to say his name. Hope I'm saying it right. He is an issue. He is a problem. Anyways, chilling here. Just lost to Russell <laughs> in 2K. He waxed my ass twice in a row, so prop, uh, props to him. He killed me. Finished a whole tub or whole pint of Halo, Halo Top Sea Salt Caramel. About to go watch The Quiet Place. I've heard good things about that movie, so hopefully, hopefully it's a good movie. I'm also going to stop and get some Chick-fil-A because I don't feel like cooking. All right, guys, so real quick before I go, I'm going to give you a little outfit of the evening, a little chill outfit of the evening. We have this shirt. It says Legal Hustle by Planes, a brand called Planes. We have these basketball shorts by EPTM USA. They're so dope. And to match them, I caught some new vans. Some new low top vans, camouflage. Some socks by EPTM as well, EPTM USA. EP, EPTM USA. And then I also have the watch. I was gonna wear this camo watch, but I was like, damn, that is way too much camo on my body right now. People won't be able to see me. So I went with this black, all black movement watch that pretty much goes with everything and needs to be cleaned. All right, so currently en route to the movie, realize that I've, today I've only had 150 carbs and like 80 grams of protein and like 15 fat. So decided to stop by Chick-fil-A and get the almighty prep fast food meal. We have a char grilled chicken sandwich. I went for the char, I usually get the regular grilled chicken sandwich, but today since I'm so low on fats, I could fit in the char grilled sandwich or the, is it the char grilled club sandwich? with cheese, bacon, and a grilled chicken patty. And I also got a 12 count nuggets. This puts me at 209 grams of carbs, 207 grams of protein, and 38 grams of fat. So the sweet spot, the sweet thing about this is when I'm done with this movie, I get to go home and have a snack before bedtime. That's what I call an and one for all my basketball players out there. I also got a large Coke Zero to keep me up during this movie. I'm seeing this movie by myself. I know, I'm a loser, but this is gonna keep me up throughout the movie, and when I get there, I'm probably gonna get another another diet drink to keep me full. I was gonna try and sneak this in, but I realized I'm not a girl, nor am I with a girl, so I don't have a purse or anything to like hide it under, and I didn't really bring a jacket either. I'm just gonna have to eat it now. Alright, so movie rating from last night, The Quiet Place, I would give it like a 7 out of 10. Um, one, I don't want to ruin the movie for you, for you guys, so if you haven't seen this movie, I still recommend you go see it, but I didn't like the way it ended, and there were some like tiny things throughout the movie that I really agree with. But it's still a solid movie, 7 out of 10, deserves to see. But today, the one thing that I've been excited for and, and waiting for days to get finally came in, and I'm about to open it up and share it with y'all, and start, start using it, because it's time. So we have the Nespresso Virtro. I hope I'm saying that right. This is what I've been waiting for for days and it finally came in. State of the art coffee machine. All you have to do is put the pod in there, which it's already in there. Press the lock button, press that button, and then it just goes to work. So it came with these pods and it's not like your average or normal coffee, I guess coffee maker. These are like weird ass names. I'm guessing because it's from a, a, a different country, but we have three different strands of coffee. This one being the weakest, this one being the strongest, and then this Ocadio is the middle, I guess. Right now I'm making an Ocadio for the first brew. It comes out looking like this, but it's actually black coffee. It's just a lot of foam. They were even nice enough to send me a free sample box. So uh, shout out to Nespresso for the hospitality. 
I'm about to enjoy this so much. Like, I have this stupid little ke uh, Keurig over here that I'm probably gonna get rid of or sell or throw away because this thing's a piece of shit. Keurigs suck. Don't ever buy a Keurig. They make horrible coffee. This is not coffee. If you've been drinking this, you're not drinking real coffee. You're drinking coffee bean water. <laughs> That's real coffee. That's fake coffee. Real coffee, fake coffee. So sometimes in life you gotta let shit go. The whack shit, the fake shit, the nonsense shit. So today we're gonna let this go. I'm sorry I had to do this. You've been with me through the thick and thin, but it's time to let you go. Just kidding. I'm not that type of person. So the new coffee machine has me wired to the max. I was just telling Tyler that I don't even need to take pre-workout today because I feel absolutely amazing. I can't believe I've been missing out on good coffee for so long. Today's leg day, which means I get to use the Anaka knee sleeves again, which also means that I'll see y'all at the gym. Oh, hi guys, so it's leg day here at Alphalete. Got the whole squad wearing the Anaka knee sleeves, except for Tyler. Got Tim, Christian, and me. Working sets of today, five by five, four or five. Let's get it. So just got back from the gym, stopped by the grocery store, picked up all these groceries and brought them up in one, one, one trip. Just kidding, I didn't do that. But I'm about to show you guys what I got because my diet has changed a little bit. But eating a little cleaner now that I'm, I've dropped my calories and my macros. So I'm gonna show y'all what I got minus this. Cause I don't eat dog food. About to run through everything that I got and show y'all what I eat when I'm this deep into prep. We have six more weeks left in the summer training prep. Six more weeks left in this Do Not Disturb series. And as I get closer and closer to my date of, I guess my, my end date for my cut, things start to get a little bit more serious. I start cutting out snacks and I kind of just stick to the primary clean whole food. So I'm gonna run through everything that I usually eat, that I typically eat on a daily basis, starting with some carbs. So we have King's Hawaiian bread, buns that I use for burgers, homemade burgers that I make every now and then. We have bananas. We have these two things that are very important to me. This is something that I drink every morning, pretty much every morning with my breakfast. 15 calorie uh, juice, Minute Maid juice, three carbs per serving. Very, very macro friendly per eight ounces. So this is something that you may want to look into if you like juices. We have veggies, baby spinach, chopped broccoli, three onion, three pepper onion and onion blend chopped asparagus, and we have some pico de gallo that I use daily for, for my egg whites and a whole bunch of other stuff too. Moving on to the proteins, we have the egg whites, of course, the egg whites. Chicken breast, zero fat chicken breast, 93.7 ground beef. I know this is gonna be disgusting to a lot of people, especially him. This is 99.1 ground turkey, and I don't mind it. It doesn't really phase me, but Actually, this isn't, this is regular, and this is 99.1. 99.1 doesn't bother me. I know how to season it to where it doesn't really come out bad. I use a lot of salt-free seasoning, so it's not really that bad, and honestly, I don't mind it, like I said. We have turkey bacon for the breakfast. 
turkey bacon for the breakfast meals, and then onto some more carbs. We have this, the non roasted garlic uh, flatbread that I use for pizzas. We have the flat out. Okay, so this is something that I posted on my IG story a couple of days ago. I haven't really told you all about this on YouTube, but these are the 90 calorie flatbread. These things are pretty huge, like very big. So this is what you call volume, right? High volume right here. So we have the flat out flatbreads. Um, per, per, per flatbread, it's one grams of fat, 1.5 grams of fat, 14 grams of carbs, and nine freaking grams of protein. You have to really watch out for the fiber though, because <laughs> if you eat like three or four of these, your, your stomach's probably gonna be in some pain. Um, we have some more carbs. You, already, you guys already know I stand on Uncle Ben's rice. Switched it up, because these have a lot, these have better macros. Uh, we have the Uncle Ben's ready, whole grain medley, brown and wild rice. And I got one basmati rice, just because I love basmati. And then some more carbs over here. We have the roasted Reskin potatoes, uh, serving 3.5 grams of fat, 18 grams of carbs, and two grams of protein per serving. Um, a serving is three ounces, I'm pretty sure. We have country style hash browns. These are another high volume uh, recipe or high volume food item. This is something that if you eat these in the morning, you can end up having a lot and still save macros for the rest of the day. So it's another good thing. And then this is for, to, this is to complement my burgers that I make at home every now and then when I have a lot of macros to play with. And for the finale, we have, this is, y'all shouldn't make fun of me of this, but every now and then I like to indulge in a glass of wine and I purchased a bottle of Skinny Girl, <laughs> Skinny Girl red wine, and uh, this thing is this stuff isn't really that bad, man. It's five ounces, 100 calories. So uh, if I want to unwind one night and just like relax and chill for a bit, I'll have a glass of this, five ounces of this. And over here, apart from the sexy coffee machine, we have Tupperware. Some new Tupperware that I bought today, and the reason is the reason I bought this, and so the reason I have this is because I'm gonna show y'all how I meal prep. Are you ready for this? Three. When it comes to seasoning, these are the seasonings you're most of the time you're gonna see me use. We have the salt-free lemon pepper. This brand is called Fiesta. So this is the brand I usually buy for all my seasonings. Uh, this is the extra fancy salt-free uh, lemon pepper. We have garlic salt. We have garlic powder. Yes, I love garlic. <laughs> we have the season it all, which is just pretty much all all-purpose seasoning. We have the black peppercorn, peppercorn, then whole mixed peppercorn right here, which is almost out, I need to re-up on that. And then of course we have parsley. Black people love parsley. 99.1 ground turkey, 93.7 ground beef, and the chicken, which, which is taking a lot longer to cook than everything else. This is always really easy to eat. I mean, really easy to cook, these two. But the chicken is tricky. This is what preparation looks like. We have the asparagus cooked, ready to go. Season is a little, season these a little bit. Uh, put a little bit of vegetable oil on them. We have the roasted bell peppers and onions in here. We have the 96.4 ground beef, 99.1 chicken, and the 93.7 ground turkey. This by far is one of the craziest, unexpected, unbelievable playoff basketball games ever, ever. Like the, the Cleveland Cavaliers just came off a game seven, a very, very hard game seven to the Indiana Pacers where they advanced to the second round and they're playing the Toronto Raptors in Toronto with only a day and a half worth of break. And they're leading with one, with, thir with 40 seconds left in the game, they're leading in overtime. This was a game they expected them to lose by so much. I expected them to lose by at least 20, but like, the game is actually really, the Cavs are in, the Cavs are in favor to win right now. This is unbelievable. 
The officials are heading over to the replay monitor. Cavs literally just pulled off the look at Kyle Lowry's face, dumbass. This is a the, I actually like I actually like Kyle Lowry, but the Cavs just pulled off the most incredible win ever. This is so unbelievable. I know I'm acting like they just won the championship, but this game was unbelievable. If you watch this game, you know exactly what I mean. That this is crazy. All right, guys, to end this video, I wanted to give a shout out to my client, Oscar, who's competing this weekend, this Saturday in San Diego. Oscar came to me at 151 pounds, and we got him down to 120, 123 pounds uh, as of peak week, Monday peak week. Um, we're still dialing in for peak week. Uh, he's looking really shredded. He's looking really lean. He actually competed with me, or he actually trained under me last year for a show, and he came in top five. So. I already know he's gonna kill it. He looks 10 times better than he did last year. And he's really brought his top package, his best package for this show. And uh, if you guys don't mind, I would like if you guys, I would love if you guys shared some love, visited his page, underscore Oscar Quintana, and gave him some luck for this weekend. Um, I know he's gonna kill it. He's been working hard and it's time to see all that hard work pay off this Saturday.